Okay, so let's go ahead and get this station tour started. Right now, we are standing outside of the Grand Central Hunter College Station, the north entrance. This was the first entrance to Grand Central Hunter College to be constructed, followed by the other four entrances late. Excuse me, later on. Here, we have a few buses. This is the Route 41. The 23. And this is the streetcar entrance. Okay, so um, as you enter the station, you'll notice that two placards are missing. It's supposed to say, Welcome to Grand Central Hunter College. Also, at the end of this placard, it's supposed to also um, have the station designation sign, which is H1. I don't know what these passengers are doing, honestly. Here's the entrance to the police station. Now, this in here belongs to KRTA police. These are their headquarters. There's two stories to this um, room. But we're not going to go upstairs or anything like that because, again, that's KRTA police. That has nothing to do with the station. So Grand Central Hunter College has about eight <clears throat> different dining options as well as um, a few, quite a few shopping options. So we're going to take a look in this particular room. This is called the staff room. Now here's the um, thing here. This station is under renovation. Therefore, the staff room still hasn't been completed. So a lot of the fittings and the furnishings haven't been put in. Here is supposed to be a field dispatch office. So once everything is finished, dispatch will actually be located in this room. And if you look through this window, you will see two sets of... um platforms that are unused at this time. These will be the future platforms for Amtrak as well as one of our national uh regional rail service. So this room is basically just used as a small storage room. Nothing too big. And this, we're not going to go in here, but this area here gives access to the crawl spaces above the ceiling for the other tower. And if we go out here, this is the emergency exit to street level. And then upstairs is the emergency exit to the parking that is upstairs. See? Here is a parking lot, but we will not walk out in that rain, though. So let's go back downstairs to the bottom floor. And these are the emergency exit stairwells. There are a few of them across Grand Central Hunter College Station.
In here will also be a supervisor's office. Some offices will be moving back to Grand Central once a lot of the improvements are finished. So some general things we always check for when we do a station tour. We always check for cleanliness. We always check for correct signage. We always check that everything is um, your maps. We do have the signs now. Right now, we're deciding whether or not to keep the mask mandate. We may decide not to go through with the mask mandate anymore. So a lot of those signs could be repurposed into something else. Seeing that the pandemic levels are very low, so mask might not be required for much longer. So go ahead and make a note of these lights that are missing and out this hallway by the elevator. The elevator that goes to the streetcar level is very um, dark. Here is another storage room. So this particular storage room, nothing too spectacular. It's just meant to store your basic items in. There are a lot of storage rooms across this particular station. On this side, you do have your streetcar. We have a few passengers over there, but your streetcar will stop here. So this is nothing like the City of Alex World Light Metro. This is just a streetcar station that is underground or cut and cover because this ceiling here is actually only three feet away from the street surface. Just a drain room. We typically don't go in those because what they do is anytime water, because the station is entirely buried, anytime there's water anywhere, what it will do is it would suck it up and then dispense it into the sewer into a room called the ejector room. So the drain room is mostly dealing with just the drains across the building, making sure everything is monitoring and then making sure everything gets to the ejector room so that it can be ejected into the sewer. Now, if you go through these doors, <clears throat> this is another entrance to that same elevator control room. This is a staff restroom in good working order. And this is supposed to give you another a ladder up into the crawl space. So we're not going to go through that door except to um check on the condition of the, the secure room. Now this is a secure room, looks pretty well. This particular side of the station will be used for all of the regional rail services as well as Amtrak. So technically there are no trains running from this particular side right now. All of the spaces on this side of the station are also unleased. So therefore right now we're just renovating over here. There, there is nothing happening on this side of the station. Um, let's go ahead and call KRTA police and let them know that someone's standing on the fare machine. So here we have this room called the community room. This room can be utilized almost like a community center for people to meet. So... That's what the purpose of this particular room is. 
It's normally kept empty and everything is normally stored back here. But yes, the community room is for the purpose of um, just to serve as a community center. So one thing that we have been looking at is our bathroom project to where we're going to add multiple bathrooms to a lot of the KRTA stations. The majority of them does not have a public restroom. The KRTA um, also uses different types of restrooms. So you'll see that we do have your long men and women bathroom and then you're going to have your short restrooms so short restroom these would normally be transgender restrooms gender neutral excuse me gender neutral restrooms as well as restrooms with changing tables this way people could easily change their diaper these are just you know just a gender neutral restroom where you have a sink a toilet and a urinal and a changing table so that you know different people are able to use the bathroom for different purpose bathrooming type purposes a lot of these will be placed across the stations a lot of them will be placed across a lot of the stations in here is another space that is also used as a community function type space and it is slightly larger than the other, the previous space. So right here, the reason why we do have the sign that says do not enter, exit only, we don't want anyone going down here and jumping into the train as a matter of fact it is determined uh we are under determinant determination if we are going to allow one regional train to utilize this platform this way we won't have to turn trains around and send them around to the other platform Up here, there's Arby's. It's an access cavern. So here is a room that we have to check every time. And it is called the ancillary now technically this is as far as I could go with a camera you're not supposed to go into these rooms with with you know any sort of a camera or anything So as of right now, the brown side is also still under renovation. So that's why it looks very barren. But as you see, most of the renovation is about putting up these tiles. Trying to change out the new tiles to make the station look newer. So here <clears throat> we are now upstairs so we went through the emergency exit corridor because it was the quickest shortcut to get from the brown um, train upstairs so through there is the actual streetcar these fair gates have been disabled because this part of the station is closed 
So we're just going to take a quick look up here. This is control room for the streetcar. So apparently we're not supposed to go through here. So I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and try to get this gate open because it shouldn't be closed. Before we go into our final part of the tour, which is going to be the atrium and downstairs, Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, mezzanine right here. So one thing that was done was the addition of a new elevator. Additional restrooms. As well as improved signage. I don't know if you've noticed, but the KRTA um, has invested in English and Spanish signs as well as a dark and light color scheme instead of the previous light with dark color scheme. So these signs have improved visibility and can be seen a lot easier than the older signs. Here's a station agent booth and another secure room. This one is used by station, um, by the station maintainers, not necessarily, um, KRTA police. Some shops and restaurants. We're gonna take a look in this room. Here we are. And fun fact, this is actually considered a shortcut to the east-west platform. There is a hallway behind this brown. There is a hallway behind this brown brick wall that will take you directly out onto the east-west platform. Customer service. Uh -huh. 